Coach, before we jump into this week's video, I had to show you some of the updates we've made to flag football with CoachD.com. Again, I've told you from the very beginning, I'm here to give you everything you need to crush it as a complete coach. So make sure you subscribe here or here, even down below here to get 10% off everything I offer instantly. So let's go over some of the most popular things that coaches are looking for. First, it's playbooks. Uh, the most popular is called the Complete Coach Package. It gives you over 200 plays. It's right here. Um, most of them are age-based and it'll tell you exactly which 24 plays to use for that age group. You get practices, you get drills, you get templates, everything you need. I would grab that for sure. Now, if you're looking for wristbands as well, then get the plug and play bundle. That one gives you the complete coach package plus 10 wristbands. Some coaches have said to me, hey, I want situational plays. I'm in the red zone or I'm getting blitzed all the time. I need pass or run plays. Those play bundles are right here. Um, let me scroll down and show you how to use this website. If you're five on five, you click here. Six on six is here. Seven on seven is here. Um, the equipment, you can find my clipboard, which I use all the time. The cones, the agility ladder, all of that can be found right here. The play builder is if you want to customize your own playbook. You can import all of my plays that you purchase and then mix and match, customize them, then print them for wristbands, one per page, four per page, etc. You can find the details there. And then recently I've opened this up. I'd love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I do it all the time now with coaches going over strategy, rotation, different plays, etc. We can meet for 30 minutes, an hour. It's totally up to you. But again, giving you everything you need to absolutely crush it as a complete coach. Now let's jump into this week's video. Hey everyone, this is Coach D and Noah. Today we are going to show out on the field how to effectively run these routes. Now, you know the routes, we get it. But this last week we had a game and a lot of the plays failed because of poor route running. Now, out on the field, we're gonna show today what a bad curl looks like, what a bad post looks like, and how to correct it out on the field. Now, why is it so important for us to have clean, crisp routes? Uh, because if not, then we're just gonna get like intercepted. Okay, you could have interceptions. You could, for instance, let's say I have an in pattern going this way and I have a curl route going that way. Every play is designed specifically to make sure that someone is popped wide open. Now, if you didn't run this in route correctly and let's say you ran it over here, a couple things could happen. You could have a lot of activity right here and then boom. You could also run into each other, right? So we saw a lot of that on tape this week. So let's start with our curl route. And Noah's big on me showing on the field instead of talking. So let's go out to the field. Now a curl route, as we know, is anywhere from three to five yards out. And then we turn quickly and boom, we get wide open. Now what we notice a lot of times, Noah, let's say, I mean, the end zone is right here. What is a bad curl route if I need to get to this line what happens a lot of times I run out and I go too short so I get the reception flag is pulled turnover because I didn't go to the actual line so on a curl route Noah you want to make sure you go to the line again a little bit further and then boom all right let's show them that you quarterback let's go ready go now he hit me right away so when I turn around, boom, I'm not just standing here going like that. He hits me right away. Good. Now, Noah, come out here. Let's say there's a defender standing right here. If I come out, let's say you're a defender, which way should I turn? The opposite way. The opposite way. I want to turn away from the defender, right? If I turn toward the defender and I'm like this, Never gonna happen. I want to turn away from the defender. All right. Let's start on both sides. Another thing about routes: should I do it on just one side or practice both? Both. Why? So then both sides are good sides. Both sides are good sides. Every. Right, right, right. So the quarterback can practice both sides, and the receiver doesn't say, "Oh, well, that's my good side of that side." Cool. Let's say I've got a uh, someone right in the middle, so I need to cut to the outside. Ready, go. A little bit further out, that's okay. 
because he's trying to throw it away from that. But I turn around and I'm available right here. Good. Very nice. All right, now, now we're going to start with our slant. Slant's going to start here, right, and go across. Now, is this just short yardage usually? Uh, I mean, it could be both. It could be. It could be both, but let's say if you do this correctly, you could get the sideline and you could score. So if you throw it correctly, you could get that sideline. Let's show them out on the field. Now, what are some of the mistakes that we see new players make when setting up for a slant? Yep, yep, lined up. You're the quarterback and I'm lined up. I know I'm going this way. All right, what, what's going to happen here? Uh, Most likely they're going to cover you and then you're set. So you're going to line up, three, two, right, front, no matter what. Ready? Go! I'm going to make a quick move the other direction and then I go this way. Noah doesn't want to throw it here at my back pocket. Where do you want to throw it, Noah? In front of you. In front of me so that I can keep running. Good. Again, we're trying both sides. It goes out in front of me so I can catch it like this. Now, a lot of times when, come on over. The best way to catch a, uh, a slant pattern is what? Yes. Diamond. Yep, I have my diamond out like this. I don't want to try to catch it like this. I want to catch it like this on the run. So hit them with the hands moving in that direction. All these routes are movement, all right? So I don't want to, I don't want to just go like this. And it just, this is the end of my route, so I just stop right here. Uh-uh, it's on the run. All right, good. Next one is interesting. No, this one's called a slant cut. Slant cut, what's the difference between a, a slant and a slant cut? Uh, a slant cut is where you go here and then slant and then cut in. And then you cut, yes. So what's going to happen with the defender? The defender is following me this way. What happens with the slant cut? They get, the defenders get lost and you go. Home. Yeah, so the defender is going to keep going this way, and I cut across and I, I get wide open here. Again, I don't stop. The quarterback's going to actually hit me on the run going this way. It's a lot of practice to lead that receiver, which is important. Let's do it. So, again, I start facing straight forward. I'm going to go a couple of this way, and I'm going to cut across that way. Ready, go. I go. Shoot, 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 shoot. Cut. Quick. Boom. Right there. Okay. Good. Other side, always. Now, this time, I'm going to cut. Go that way and cut out. Ready, go. Cut. Cut. Now, whether I am supposed to be getting the ball or not, I still want to have a clean route. So you still want to be out on the field watching and coaching in the moment. So, Noah, real quick, the movie quarterback, show me a sloppy, a sloppy one that I'd be like, not good. Go go. Yeah, okay, ready to go. Yeah, see that loop? See that loop right there? This little thing like this. That's not going to trick anyone. They won't be open. They'll just be like out here like this, right? So you want to watch for that, all right, and coach in the moment and make sure that they get this down. You might know these routes, Noah, but it's important when we see that some of our players are not doing it that we correct it in the moment. They don't see how their route plays into everything else. So we talked earlier about an in pattern with a corner route. So what does this in pattern look like? Let's show them out on the field. Now with an in, let's say I'm gonna go some yardage, but then a lot of times I just kind of see this. See that? See that little angle right there? Right? What does this need to be? What type of angle? 90 degree, let's give it to Ready, go. Okay. Right out there. Boom. So I'm going to take this all the way out. You hit me as if you're looking someplace else, and then come back to me. You hit me while I'm over there. Okay? Ready, go. So even though I'm ready, I might be his second option in what's called a progression. Right? He might be looking at the corner. But that's covered. I want to keep running. What I see a lot of more, let's do a lot of this. Yeah. 
Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You went all the way. Let's say I'm covered. Let me show you the option on that. I'm going to go all the way to there, but I'm still covered. I'm going to cut that way and come back in. There you go. Boom. Boom. I come all the way across. You can do that. That's an option. Again, teach. Teach them to run all the way through their route, even if they're not getting the ball. All right, bud. Let's go with an out pattern. What you want the quarterback to do is hit it right when, right when they're about right here. You want them to already make that decision and throw the ball to where they're going to be. All of these are fairly quick. So even if you want to throw that, that ball to me when I'm making my cut so that the, the defender does not see that I'm getting the ball. Ready, go. Yep. So you want to throw to that sideline where they're going to be. Ready, go. Clean cut. Yeah. Cut. Lay out. So then I can get that sideline and go. Now another cool thing we saw this weekend, Noah, is one of our players caught the ball here instead of running out of bounds. Did a quick spin move and then actually ran all the way across and scored a touchdown. So if it's thrown correctly, it can lead to some pretty cool stuff. Now you can use this clipboard to help keep yourself organized as you're going through these. Now this one's called the in and out. This is one that Noah helped me kind of design. Noah, what is the in and out? Let's show this way. Go ahead. So we go here, forward five steps, and then go in two steps, uh -huh. and then cut out. And then cut out. You want to show us on the field? Yep, you're going in. And then look forward. Look, look forward. You're getting the ball, uh -huh. and then you have to make a hard move, yep. and then go in. Good. That's very important right there. That look right there, you could, as a quarterback, you could do a nice little... Take it. Ready, go. Go up. In pattern. Now, here, you got to practice this because it's tricky. You're going to look like you're going to get it, and then you're going to go out. Go. You're leaving that defense in the dust. And again, you want to try both sides, practice both sides. You want me to go full speed? Ready, go. Look. Go! <laughs> Another thing that you're wanting to watch for now, what I've noticed in video, is which way they're looking. So a lot of times, when we're doing out patterns or any of these, like this. I come out, and I go like this. See what I just did there? Look at the way I turned, you know what? What is wrong with this? Look, like this one. <laughs> it's awkward, and I'll tell you, the defense can just keep up with you. That's an out, right? See this a lot. Watch this. Watch the difference. Ready, go. 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 I didn't cut that wrong. Good boy. Ready, go. Just keep going. Other side. Just keep practicing until you get it. Cool. But that's very important. Just showing them and coaching in the moment, those little things make a big difference. All right. Now, easy one that we love. It's called a post. Yeah, tell us about the post. So, it's this really good pattern. Yep. And you go like, it's kind of like a corner out, but you go like five steps and then cut in. Yeah. Like slant in. Now, we get that. We've seen a lot of videos about that. That's fine. But what are some of the mistakes we see? What happens? Well, I don't know. Well, show me. Here. Here's some of the things I see. Tell me what's wrong with that. The hard 
Okay, hard cut. Okay, so the difference would be, try to cut. There you go. Very nice. Well done. Here's another mistake, I see. There you go. You didn't finish running your route. What's that? You did not finish running your route. Tell the coaches. He didn't finish running his route. So, you need to finish running your route. I mean, this is an active route. That means you keep running all the way through it. Let me show you if for some reason you get to the end of your route and you're not open. Ready, go. I'm covered. I run my route. Okay? Here's what I want to do cut toward there and come all the way across. But initially, here's what the point of a over the top post is. Ready, go. Four. Over defense. Ready. And I'm going to catch it like this. We'll talk about that in a second. Ready, go. I've got a bunch of defenders on me. Yeah. Interception. So. Practicing, no, where do you want to hit that? You want to throw it way over here. Or I can catch it as I run. Ready, go! Hard cut. You want to throw it up here. So I can catch it on the run, beyond the defense, and keep going. Alright, do you practice just one side or both? Uh, both. Why? So that both sides are good sides. Yeah, if I can only catch on this side, am I in trouble yeah. if the if the route is going that way? Try both sides. Over the shoulder, how do you catch? With your pinkies together. Let me show you. It's coming. Now, what do you do in between? How about if it's gonna come in between? Yes, it's coming up top. Yep, cool. So he's locked up here just in case for some reason, but he's also locked up there. Cool, nice. Now this is relevant to our next one. What's our next one? A corner. A corner route. So the difference between a post and a corner is I'm gonna to go to the corner here. Now what is this perfect for? It's perfect for like running like touchdowns and extra points. Yes, I'm seven yards away from an end zone. I'm five yards away. I'm doing a two point conversion, whatever. I'm gonna throw this ball over here. Or again, corners can be in this side as well. What I see a lot is that they just do kind of a halfway. Uh -uh. This is an active route, meaning Noah, you're gonna go up. And as the quarterback, I'm gonna throw it on the run over here. Your defender is probably gonna be right here so they can't get to it if you do what's called a back shoulder pass. This is your back shoulder pass. You want to be quarterback? You want to be? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we're going over this side. I'll go halfway. Ready, go. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Same thing. Hard. Boom. Ready, go. 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 It's tough for them to get it at first. Woohoo! Nice. Can't defend that. That needs to be a clean, crisp route, and the quarterback needs to throw it at the right spot. Otherwise, it's not effective. Here's what to not do. Here you go. Yep. Interception. This is probably going to be three, two to three players back here. So, one more time. I should do. Ready, go. You can't touch that. You can't touch that. Last one is the fly pattern. So now we've gone through all of these. Now let's go to our fly pattern. As we know, with a fly or a go, we're going to go straight down. There's a couple quick tips, Noah. Let's go kind of quarter speed here, maybe three quarter speed here, and then five yards in. I'm gonna burst speed so that I outrun this defender right here and I'm open here, okay? That's one thing. The other thing we'll talk about is which side to catch it on. Ready, go. 
Did I catch that on the run or did I have to stop and turn on back? The on the run, that's what you want. Let's say I have a defender in the middle, right? And I'm gonna do a fly, but I wanna actually throw the ball on the outside so that the defender can't get to it. There you go. There you go. Now I'm ready. Oh, that was perfect. Wait. That was literally a perfect pass. We call that perfect pass. You see what that, that was? Yeah. Could the defender get to it? Nope. Not even close. I was in full speed on that. I could just take it to the house. So a lot of this is instead of when I get to the end of the route and I turn around and I do a lot of this. Uh -uh. The other thing I see a lot of, Noah, let me see a really poor in route. Bad cut. Ready to go? Yeah, see that? See that lukewarm? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. So they need to know their routes. They need to know how it fits into each of the plays, right? And they need to be doing it correctly. So I can quickly come up to them in practice. You see me all the time, just kind of watching. And then I see if it's a little bit off, I coach in the moment and we do it again. And we do it again. Sometimes I'll actually show them out on the field. You see me show them out on the field a lot, right? Yeah, and then we see it. And then we record the game, so then we can go back and say, aha, okay. All right, Noah, we need to be a little bit cleaner on this one or that one. No, you're always perfect, but very nice. Anything else, bud? Nope. Remember, if you like what you see, this is Coach D and? Noah. All right, we will see you next time. Make sure you subscribe comment, crush the bell, all that good stuff, and go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. You'll see these plays and so much more. We'll see you next time.